Right, up next we've got the Philips Photo Crescenta Enlarger Lamp. Um, well, I said it was um, the boxes were not nothing on them. I was looking at the wrong end, and in fact, that's the end I was looking at. But don't worry, there's there's plenty more mysteries up there. I feel sure. Anyhow, this one is. Well, I'll show you the edge. It's beautiful edge on it. it. Really is. Is that liven up a bit? I don't know. I think it is. And there's a code on there as well. It looks like um like a C with a dot in the middle. And is that 85? No, it's 0505. I'll get this blinking camera to focus a bit better. There we are. C with a little dot in the middle. 05 or 05. It's got the type there as well. PF 605 8 stroke 51. And it's made over here. 240 volt, 150 watt. Once again, I've got no idea where I, I picked this one up from. As I've been to so many boot sales that... Uh, it's likely that's where it came from, but to be quite honest, I don't know. Anyhow, the reason the etch is on the where it is and not on the top is because it's a, a larger lamp, and obviously they go in sort of that way round. The film you can see from the picture. The film is goes through there. The cap of the lamp is at the top. The last thing you want is any distortion or imagery coming through from the edge. So that's why they actually put it on the side. The top of the lamp, there's nothing on it at all. It's a beautiful coating. It's obviously a silver light type of coating. I'll show it a light later. It's 150 watt. I won't. I won't whack it up to the full voltage. Um, once again, it's quite old. You can see see by the box. It is quite old. A larger lamp. Nothing on that side. Um, virtually the same all the way around. And now let's have a little look at it. A light. I'll wind that right back to zero. I've never used this, although the cap shows sign that it has, has been plugged in to something, so hopefully this will be a worker. I don't think I've ever tried it, but uh, there will be a beautiful even light. Let me put it in. Swap over. One of these days I'll probably update some of this um, arrangement. Um, you know, I've seen some really good setups. Um, I mean good setups. But here it's just a, a very basic one. Oh yes, we're working. Now that at the moment is 100 volts. I won't push it up more than that. It will just cause the camera to, to distort. Well there's, your, there's the lamp. It's a nice clean even light. Oh, the camera keeps changing. It's the light. You know, a, bit, a bit bright. I won't put, I won't put it on, on full. Obviously don't know what kind of filament it is, as you can't see it. And nothing shows through the glass, even if you turn it down. Sometimes you could see the filament just glowing, but in this case, for quality 
to um, be really shown so it will produce film images clear without any images of uh, etch or filament or anything like that even specks in the glass itself so yeah a very nice lamp I don't know any more about it if anyone else does out there who's got anything to say please ask don't know whether you've seen uh, seen this one Alex it's um it's a little bit unusual so anyone's got any questions please ask if I know the answer I'll, I'll answer it but uh, I probably won't know the answer anyhow thanks a lot for watching don't know what I'm going to put up next um, depends what turns up on that cupboard or that shelf rather anyhow thanks again for watching thanks